sexuality educator, little kids playing doctor, or you know, I'll show you mine if you show me yours, mine and yours being genital usually. What is the deal with that? The deal with that is that in general, children are curious little people. And one of the things that they are often curious about is bodies. So depending on what's going on in their household, uh, they are probably certainly familiar with what their own body looks like. They may not be familiar with what other people's bodies look like and they just wanna know. So if they have a friend over or, you know, a cousin or someone who's around the same age, and they're, you know, playing by themselves, it's not unusual for some kids to want to see what other kids have going on under their clothes. And again, it's just part of sort of natural human curiosity is what does what you have look like what I have? Is it different? How does it work? What's going on with that? But sometimes when kids get together, if they decide, you know, we want to show each other what's happening, uh, that can sometimes lead to touching. And again, the touching is you know, not usually sexually or erotically driven the way it would be with adults, but they may discover through the course of, you know, touching and playing with each other's bodies that certain kind of touches feel good physically, and kids enjoy things that feel good for them, so they may be motivated to keep doing it. Now, what do you do as the adult if you walk in and you find the situation is happening? Uh, right off the bat, Try not to freak out or at least not show outwardly that you might be freaking out because in the majority of cases it's really not a big deal and the ch kids are not being motivated by something, you know, dangerous or harmful. You can assure them that it's super common to feel curious about other people's bodies and that it's also very common and normal to want to do things to and with our bodies that feel good for us. But then you want to reinforce the boundaries or the rules that you have in your home and for your family. So this is the time to talk about things like what the expectations are in terms of covering genitals or not covering genitals, who we show those body parts to, who we don't show those body parts to, how we behave when we have a friend over or when we're visiting someone else's home. And if you and your kids haven't had that discussion yet, that is fine. This is a perfect time to start. I sometimes speak to parents or families who are worried that their children are, you know, behaving this way because they're acting out about something or because there's something wrong. And, you know, it's something that sometimes I've worried about with my kid as well. There are a couple of key indications that your child playing doctor or showing their genitals is just a part of their normal childhood exploration, learning, and development. So typically, a uh, playing doctor happens between children who are either relatively close in age or are at least close in terms of their, you know, maturity and their development. So you either have kids who are the same chronological age, or if they're not the same chronological age, they're sort of at similar or close levels of maturity and cognitive development, um, social development, what have you. Also in a situation where, you know, it's just kids fooling around, being curious about their bodies and whatnot, it's usually a mutual activity. So a scenario where probably one kid said, hey everyone, let's pull down our pants and see what's going on down there. And then the other kids were like, yeah, okay. And then shenanigans ensued. And that is the lowdown on kids playing doctor. If you have any questions or comments about kids playing doctor, then you can either uh, leave me a comment down below or you can get in touch with me through my website, nadinethornhill.com. And while you're there, you can uh, check out my information about parent coaching and also workshops. If you like this video, then you can like it, give it that thumbs up, and I would love if you could share it. And if you want uh, more videos about sex ed and kids and teens, then be sure to subscribe <laughs> to my channel. So that's all for today. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye. But because having sex can mean different things to different people, Abstinence can also mean different things to different people.